Hi guys, this is Brownie from Manhattan, New York, and I'm coming to you guys with a hair editorial. And this is on my natural hair after the glue has been removed. So it's been a while since I came to you guys with a editorial. And this one is just on my natural hair. I'm just combing it down because I just had it in a ponytail. This is on my natural hair. I just washed out my hair, removed my tracks last night, and this is my natural hair, and it's still purple for those of you who's asking. It's still purple. I had to flat iron it to get it to this texture because my hair is like ridiculously thick, and I love it. I love the thickness my hair has. So what I did was I used my red, my Kiss Red Flat Iron that I only paid... $15 for at my LB, B, LBS and what I do is I partitioned my hair in four and then I took the flat iron and I went through my hair straight like this and then I took the flat iron and I went through like this in this type of motion I'm going to do it in the other way in a curling motion like that and then I just combed it down and that's what I did to my entire hair. I did show you guys my video of me dyeing my hair. And that was the video right after I had permed my hair. And that was the video of me dyeing my hair. So this is my hair color. It's really purple. Really, really purple. And this is 116 Raging Purple. That's the name of the dye I have in 116 Raging Purple. And I finished the whole container on my head because I did it the first time and it didn't come out. And then I did the second time and I videoed it of me doing it. So if you guys want to see how I got this hair color, you can always just refer to any of my videos. I am going to be I am going to be um adding in my tracks tonight for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Eastern, you know. So this is my hair. This is basically the length of my hair. Like basically the length of my hair. All of it is nice and straight right now. And this is just my forehead. How my hair looks. I have no breaking. And I did bleach and dye my hair. I have no breakage. No breaking. No shedding. I bleached and dyed it and it's still very healthy this is the back back of my hair very good length and I'm using my fine tooth comb like always and this is the back of my hair and it's very healthy have no breaking at all still very healthy and I'm going to be adding in my hair, and I just want to show you guys how my hair looks. I removed a full head of glue. As I told you guys, I installed my hair by 30 Second Pro Bonding Glue that I buy from my LBS. I love that glue. It, it dries fast, and it stays in place until you're ready to wash it out. You have to really wash it out, and it comes out. Or just saturate your hair a lot for it to come out, but it doesn't stain, it doesn't pull out hair. It's very good glue. I really like it. It's by a reputable company and it also makes its own brand of shampoo, its own brand of conditioner. So you can go and buy 30 Second Pro products if you'd like to. And this is just my hair. So I'm going to turn around and let you guys see the back. This is the back of my hair. This is the side of my hair. This is the front of my hair. This is the top of my hair. This is the uh, my right side of my head. And this is how it looks. My hair has grown a lot since since I've been using this. Well, not really using. I've just been caring for my hair more. Like, I usually just wash and go, wash and go. But it, 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 not grown. Yeah, it's grown a lot. Like, in the middle, it's grown a lot. You can see in the middle, it's grown a lot, a lot. 
It was growing like at least two inches. Cause I was cutting my hair up to September of up to September of last year. I was cutting my hair into low scissors. And this is the growth since last year, September. So to me, this is a lot of growth since being bald and no hair to having a head full of hair. And then I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. Even though I am an unlicensed hairstylist and I do do my own hair, I just feel like, oh, I really don't feel like doing it. And those of you who are interested in this makeup look that I have on right now, you can just watch my video that I recorded right before this one and you can see my full makeup look. So I'm just going to come closer so you guys can see the purple. My hair is still fully purple. It is fully purple. As you can see, as you can see before I was bald here, I pulled out the hair. And with my glue instructions and I have all my hairs grown back there. And I'm just going to continue showing you guys the updates on that side and the growth. And like you see, I'm going to part it so you can see it's not... See? It's not... It's not like... It's not bald anymore. But it still needs a lot more growing in to thicken up, like to match this side. This side is much thicker. This side needs to thicken up more too, but it's much thicker than that side as you can see. So, even though it looks like I have less hair, but that's because it's like a blonde, so it's really true to skin color, but it's not bald like it was before, and my hair is really thick. Even though I flat ironed it, it's still really, really thick, and by the time I wake up tomorrow, it's going to be like, <sighs> so I just have to do it tonight and get it out the way. This is basically step one of applying my my I'm gonna be applying my Peruvian hair so you guys can see that video probably tomorrow night or the night afterwards or maybe this one who knows maybe right after I finish it I will tell you guys how I get that look right now my hair I do have the cream of nature 7 in 1 spray for its heat protectant before I flat ironed my hair I did use a heat protectant over my entire hair and I did treat my hair with um my seven in one my seven in one i'm gonna show you guys that those containers of what i have in my hair right now so right now in my hair i have my argan oil and this is by sunbeam i believe it's by sunflower cosmetics and this is what i have in my hair and this is a 2.5 FL ounce bottle. And I just use a couple of drips. Like I've had this bottle for over a month. And it doesn't even look like I've touched it. I've had this bottle for over like two months now. And it doesn't even look like I've touched it. Because you don't use a lot. And I also have my 5-in-1. I'm sorry guys. I said 7-in-1. I have my 5-in-1 itching free. And this is by the next image. And this is what I have sprayed along my roots and over my entire head, distributed evenly. I have my, I do have my 7-in-1 spray by Argan Oil, and that's this one. This one in the corner. I do have the 7-in-1 spray, this bottle right here. And I sprayed it over my entire head. And it's really good. Especially if I was wearing my natural hair like this. This is very good and very conditioning and very treating. So it's very good for my hair. Last but not the least. Sorry guys, I went to another room and I didn't realize the light was so dark. Last but not least, I have my growth serum. This growth serum over my hair and it's done. And this is one, those last... Four products that I showed you guys have been my March and April's favorite hair products. And that's something that I've been constantly using over the last two months. So it's not the first time I've used it. 
So I definitely would refer anybody to use those products. Those are very good products to use in your hair. Very good, very strengthening, very treating. It's very good for growth. It's made my hair so much thicker. So I would tell anybody to use that. It's very good products. Again, this is Bounty from Manhattan, New York. And I hope you guys enjoyed this hair editorial. My natural hair editorial. Mwah!